face on your own shirt. <laughs> <laughs> Access granted. Hey guys, thanks for checking this video out. And um, Tina and I just got back from Las Vegas last week and uh, we had a great time. Uh, I've already got one video out about the link and our premium king suite that we were in. It was a great room. You want to check that out. Of course, the link is so cool because it's right there in the middle of everything. And a lot of great places to eat so because you're right there on the link promenade and two of the places we ate I want to highlight in this video one is Maxi's which will come up first and then uh, I'll show you that and then we'll come back and talk about that and the other one is about is Hash House of Go Go so I'll come back and talk to you about that before we show those clips so as you can see right now, I got on my Las Vegas and Beyond t-shirt. Man, it's a comfortable shirt. So uh, it's a really cool graphics from my buddy Alan from Las Vegas and Beyond. He's tremendous. His work is outstanding. You need to check it out. Also got me a little uh, Las Vegas and Beyond. I guess these are called tumblers. I'm a Beyonder. I'm a definitely a Beyonder because I've gone on some Beyond Vegas trips with Alan out into the desert. We went to Delamar, we went to Pioche, we went to Tonopah and checked out the Clown Motel. So check out Alan's videos, check out mine on those trips with me and Alan. Those are outstanding videos. And uh, so I'll put, I'll put all the links of the videos that Alan and I have done together in the description. So, but right now, let's check out Maxi's. So this is our waitress. She's done a really good job and very nice, but she asked me a question. Tell me about that. 
You wearing your own face on your own shirt? <laughs> <laughs> that is so classy. Thank you. So, you know, here is, I got my Durango Dale shirt. And uh, that is so cool that she said, are you wearing yourself in your shirt? And that, uh, so that is a huge compliment for me to think that I look like Durango Dale or Dale McKenzie. So uh, we're like brothers from another brother anyway. So. All right, so we just finished eating at Maxie's and I had that uh, Eggs Benedict. It had this big loaf of bread. It was, it was good. And uh, I had the, uh, the barbecue pulled pork barbecue or whatever and it was it's very tasty and i had the fruity pebbles french toast and oh my goodness the sweet sugary i'll be good for the rest of the day i'm pumped let's go yeah. anybody can start their day with fruity pebbles yeah it's a win yeah yeah it's a sugar rush but anyway, uh, good meal. So Maxie's, come check it out. There was a lot, had a good breakfast menu. So, you know, I want to come back and try something else sometimes. Yeah. Uh, Maxie's was good and they got a, a good menu. So there's, there's plenty of other choices. Like I said, I'm going to go back. There's some other things on there I wanted to try. And uh, so if you're ever there, I mean, check it out. Maxie's is really good. The next morning, we got up, and we were just going to walk up the strip to see what we could find for breakfast, and um, we just happened to check out, when we got down from our room, we had to walk in front of Hash House A Go Go. Well, usually there's a line, and we just lucked out. We, we looked up there, and I was like, it doesn't look like anybody's waiting in line, so we went up the escalator inside the link nobody was sitting down on the the chairs because there's a lot of chairs people waiting up there nobody was sitting down and we walked right in there was maybe one or two people ahead of us but wasn't a wait they just said here wait in line after them and within probably three four minutes we got our seats so how lucky is that at hash house a go-go and Guys, let me tell you what. If you've heard that they have big portions, that is no joke. They have big portions. And the food was really good. So let's check that out. And I'll be back with you to wrap it up in here in just a little bit.
Hash House a go go was awesome. The food was great. The drinks were great. Uh, and yeah, the price tag's a little high, but you know what? It, it's it is what it is. It's Las Vegas, and uh, they make great drinks and they make great food. Hash House Go 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 is no exception. It was a really good meal. Now the chicken and waffles, they're superb, but I will say they're not quite as good as the Yardbird Southern Table. That place was amazing. So, and that's in the Venetian. But Hash House of Go-Go is really good. I would not miss it. The portions are great. Um, the, it, the food is great. The service is great. Our waitress was outstanding. And um, so, you know, when you come to Las Vegas, I think sometimes, you, you know, if you're visiting, you just have to budget wisely because you're going to pay a little bit more for food. Well, probably a lot more for food. So, and then if you want to eat somewhere extravagant or, you know, you're at a big steakhouse or whatever, just be prepared to, to pay big prices. And um, so, anyway, that was our trip. We had a great time uh, at, and then we ate some great meals, especially at Maxie's and at um, Hash House and Go Go. I just wanted to share those with you. And I've got a few more videos soon. We, Tina and I went up to Rylite near Beatty and Death Valley. So we toured that ghost town and it was really hot. Actually, it was so hot that my camera phone shut off. That's how hot it was. And I mean, we were in an air-conditioned car. We got out. It wasn't even a minute. It shut off. The Sony ZV-1 and the GoPro both held up to the heat, so I was pretty happy with that. And uh, we did a video on that, and I think it's going to be pretty good. And it'll be up pretty soon next week, uh, so check that out soon. And don't miss the live, which is Saturday night. Y'all take care. Like and subscribe, as always. We need your support.